This is not supposed to be the video that's supposed to come out at this point in time, but this is quite literally like... This is different. Like, he just did this. <laughs> so, I just watched Penguin Zero's video on it, and we're gonna watch it right now. And this is not the video that's supposed to come out today at all, or at all even. I wasn't supposed to have a, a videos out for another couple of days, but I guess fuck that. So let's just get to it. It's compelling. It's gripping. Oh, I didn't even. My bad. Two steps ahead. I am always two steps ahead. My thing is, what what are you two steps ahead of, dude? Like, I'm not like dissing on you, nothing. I'm just. Wondering, like, what are you two steps ahead on with with what? With life? Like, cool. But. Because he was this hated for several, several years. the greatest social experiment for my entire life. It's not a social experiment. It's alluring. It's Maybe compelling. It's gripping to observe all these unwell, disoriented beings roam the internet. In search of stories, ideas, rivalries, where they feel encouraged and engaged, where they involve them. I'm kind of wondering where the stretch marks are because there's no fucking way he got rid of all those stretch marks Selves that easily. With the stories, and become a product of influence. Right there, maybe. Thirsty for a distraction from time unspent, spoiling their minds yet stimulating them at the same time. It's brilliant. And it's dangerous. I feel as if I'm monitoring ants on an ant farm. One What's with the mask? Another, follows another, follows another. It's mesmerizing. Didn't he say he was living in poverty? Or like, he was really close to being on the streets and stuff, like his last video, like, literally five or so days ago or something like that? Spellbinding. All these little consumers. All of these lost. Again, this is like, people. not even a day ago. This was a couple hours ago. People consuming anything that they're told to consume. So I am the villain. Because I've made myself one. And you will continue to consume these stories about me year after year after year. For as long as I tell the internet that I am the villain, stories that permeate and linger and infect the minds of the ants, influence the ants, brainwash the ants, you are the ants. He looks like he belong he looks like he belongs in Today, an insane asylum. I woke up from a very long dream and I also woke up having lost 250 pounds off of my body. He has two videos up. This one and another one is on uh, Nick Cut Off Color 2. People were calling me fat and sick and boring and irrelevant. People. People are the most messed up creatures on the entire planet. Yeah. And yet I've still managed to stay two steps ahead. Of what? Of everyone. He's trying to be ominous, but it's not working very well. Well, to me at least. The joke's on you. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's been like eight years. Are you gonna say hi? He looks like a certain YouTuber. I forgot his name. It's J Station. J Station. He looks a bit like J Station, does he not? I might put little pieces here and yeah. there when I'm. I'll put a picture right beside him on probably this side. Does he not look like J Station? Editing this for you guys to kind of see what we did yesterday, which was Black Bean Noodles. But we're going to do it again for a second time. These are my favorite spicy noodles of all time. If I had to choose one, it would be Black Bean Noodles. Wouldn't it, Mr. Noodle? Um, I love them. They're so good. And these come from a. Is this literally just a mukbang? Is he gonna talk any more about anything? Okay, well, besides looking at food for however long and with his one eye halfway open, his other eye halfway closed, or completely closed. So, Nikocado Avocado spent a, I believe, eight year journey taking a weight loss. Taking weight loss. And he continuously uploaded. He had other videos that he had pre recorded 
I'm assuming streams as well if he did any streams. I'm not sure if he did any streams or not, but he does have a shit. He had a shit ton of videos that he recorded while he was fat, as he calls the, the social experiment, which I don't understand that entirely because we don't really need an experiment to tell ever to tell people that people on the internet are just kind of dicks. He spent several years taking a weight loss journey and was uploading the videos when he was fat and put them on YouTube for us all to watch, keeping us entertained. While he was losing weight, I'm not sure if it was eight years because I, I literally am just going off, I'm going off of the information that Penguin Zero said, so yeah. But other than that, yeah, this is what we got from Nick Akato Avocado now. He has completely changed his entire, like, physique. He still seems to be the dickwad that we know and love, calling everybody a peasant for somewhat, for whatever reason. I'm not too, like, keen on that, but whatever. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty amazing to go from bloated to a toothpick in, like, eight years. I think it was four years, as what Penguin Zero said, but I might be wrong, because he said eight years in here. I'm not sure if that's how long he took to lose weight, but in which case, he did it. Here he is. And it's something else. It's, it's something else. It really is. Uh...